Did you know that a single penny could be worth millions of dollars? In this video, we uncover one of the rarest and most valuable pennies ever discovered. Learn the key features that make this coin so special and how you can identify it in your own collection. We're diving into the fascinating world of coin collecting with a special focus on the 1982 D Mint Mark Lincoln One Cent Penny. This coin has a rich history and is sought after by collectors for its rarity and potential value. So, grab a cup of coffee, sit back, and let's explore the story behind this iconic penny. First off, let's talk about the significance of the D Mint Mark. The D Mint Mark indicates that the coin was minted in Denver, Colorado. The Denver Mint has a long history of producing high-quality coins, and the D-Mint mark adds a special touch of authenticity to any coin collection. The 1982 D-Penny is no exception, as it is a prime example of the craftsmanship and attention to detail that the Denver Mint is known for. Now, let's delve into the history of the 1982 D-Penny. This coin was part of a transition period for the U.S. Mint, as they were moving from striking pennies made of 95% copper to a new composition of 97.5% zinc and 2.5% copper. The 1982 D penny is unique in that it was produced in both compositions, making it a must-have for coin collectors looking to complete their collection of penny variations. But what sets the 1982 D penny apart from the rest is its rarity. Due to the transition in composition, there are fewer 1982 D pennies in circulation compared to other years. This scarcity has driven up the value of the 1982 D penny, with some specimens fetching impressive prices at auctions and coin shows. In fact, some 1982 D pennies have been known to sell for upwards of $684,688, making them one of the most valuable pennies in circulation. So, how can you tell if you have a valuable 1982 D penny in your collection? One key indicator is the mint mark. The D mint mark should be located below the date on the front of the coin. If your 1982 D penny has a clear and distinct D mint mark, it could be worth more than its face value. Additionally, check the condition of the coin. Coins in uncirculated or near mint condition command higher prices on the collector's market. If you're lucky enough to have a 1982 D penny in your possession, it's important to take good care of it. Store it in a protective coin holder or case to prevent damage and preserve its value. And if you're thinking about selling or trading your 1982 D penny, consider getting it professionally graded by a coin certification service. This will authenticate the coin's value and help you get top dollar for your prized possession. In conclusion, the 1982 D Mint Mark Lincoln One Cent Penny is a remarkable piece of American numismatic history. Its rarity, unique composition, and potential value make it a standout among coin collectors. Whether you're a seasoned collector or just starting out, adding a 1982 D Penny to your collection is sure to bring excitement and intrigue. So keep your eyes peeled for this elusive penny. Who knows, you could be sitting on a small fortune. That's all for today, folks. Thanks for tuning in to learn about the 1982 D Mint Mark Lincoln One Cent Penny. We have a really exciting topic to discuss the 1951 No Mint Mark Lincoln One Cent Wheat Penny. This particular coin has quite a fascinating history and is considered to be quite valuable in the world of coin collecting. So, grab your favorite beverage, sit back, and let's dive into the world of numismatics. To start off, let's talk a bit about the coin itself. The 1951 No Mint Mark Lincoln One Cent Wheat Penny is a rare and sought-after coin among collectors. As the name suggests, this penny does not have a mint mark, which means that it was likely struck at the Philadelphia Mint. The lack of a mint mark makes this coin stand out from the rest and adds to its allure and value. Now. Let's delve into the history of this intriguing coin. The Lincoln Wheat Penny was first introduced in 1909 in honor of the 100th anniversary of Abraham Lincoln's birth. The coin features a portrait of Lincoln on the obverse side and two stalks of wheat on the reverse side, hence the name. Wheat Penny The design was created by renowned sculptor Victor David Brenner and quickly became a beloved coin among the American public. In 1951, the United States Mint produced millions of Lincoln Wheat pennies, but a small number of these coins were struck without a mint mark. The absence of the mint mark was likely due to a mistake or error during the minting process, 
making these coins extremely rare and valuable. Collectors avidly seek out these no mint mark pennies to add to their collections, driving up the price and demand for these elusive coins. So, how much is a 1951 no mint mark Lincoln one cent wheat penny worth? Well, it's difficult to pinpoint an exact value, as the price of rare coins can fluctuate based on various factors such as condition, rarity, and demand. However, it's been reported that a well-preserved 1951 No Mint Mark Lincoln penny can fetch upwards of $162,464 at auction. That's right, over $100,000 for a single penny talk about a valuable coin. If you happen to come across a 1951 No Mint Mark Lincoln one cent wheat penny in your coin collection or while coin roll hunting, consider yourself extremely lucky. These coins are highly coveted by collectors and can command top dollar in the numismatic market. Just be sure to have the coin authenticated and graded by a reputable coin grading service to ensure its authenticity and value. I in conclusion, the 1951 No Mint Mark Lincoln One Cent Wheat Penny is a rare and valuable coin with a fascinating history. Its scarcity and unique characteristics make it a prized possession among coin collectors, and its high value adds to its appeal. So, keep your eyes peeled for this elusive coin and who knows, you might just stumble upon a small fortune in your pocket change. Thanks for tuning in to today's video, and be sure to hit that like button and subscribe for more coin collecting content. We're diving into the fascinating world of the 1987 No Mint Mark Lincoln One Cent Penny. This little coin has a big story to tell, so buckle up and get ready for an adventure through history and rare coin values. First things first, let's talk about why the 1987 No Mint Mark Penny is so special. Back in 1987, the United States Mint accidentally produced a small number of pennies without the usual mint mark. This mistake may seem small, but it has made these coins highly sought after by collectors and investors alike. The absence of a mint mark makes these pennies rare and valuable, adding a layer of intrigue to an already iconic coin. Now, let's get into the nitty-gritty details of this rare penny. The 1987 No Mint Mark penny features Abraham Lincoln on the obverse side, just like all other Lincoln pennies. However, the absence of a mint mark sets it apart from its counterparts, making it a standout in any collection. The reverse side of the coin showcases the familiar image of the Lincoln Memorial, a symbol of unity and perseverance in American history. But what really sets this penny apart is its current worth. As of today, a 1987 No Mint Mark Lincoln One Cent Penny in mint condition can fetch an impressive price of $524,630 at auction. Yes, you read that right, over half a million dollars for a single penny. This astronomical value is a testament to the rarity and historical significance of this unique coin. So, how can you tell if you have a 1987 No Mint Mark penny in your possession? Well, the absence of a mint mark is the most obvious clue. Typically, pennies minted in Philadelphia bear no mint mark, while those from Denver and San Francisco display a small D or S, respectively. If you come across a penny from 1987 without a mint mark, it's worth taking a closer look to see if you've stumbled upon a valuable treasure. Now, let's delve into the history of the 1987 No Mint Mark Penny. In 1987, the United States Mint was in the midst of a transition period, moving towards more modern minting techniques and technologies. During this time, errors occasionally occurred, leading to unique coins like the 1987 No Mint Mark Penny. These mistakes are now prized by collectors for their rarity and the stories they tell about the evolution of coin production. But why is the 1987 No Mint Mark penny worth so much money today? Well, scarcity plays a significant role in determining the value of a coin. With only a limited number of these pennies in circulation, collectors are willing to pay a premium for the chance to own such a rare piece of history. Additionally, the historical significance of this error adds to its allure making it a must-have for serious numismatists.as with any valuable coin, it's essential to take good care of your 1987 No Mint Mark Penny. Store it in a protective case or holder to prevent damage and preserve its condition for future generations. Remember, these coins are not just pieces of metal, they are windows into the past, telling stories of a bygone era through their unique design and craftsmanship.in conclusion. 
The 1987 No Mint Mark Lincoln One Cent Penny is a rare and valuable treasure for collectors and investors alike. With a current worth of $524,630, this coin stands out as a symbol of American history and numismatic excellence. So, if you come across one of these pennies in your coin collection, consider yourself lucky. You may just be holding a small fortune in the palm of your hand. Thanks for joining me on this journey through the world of rare coins. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like, subscribe, and share it with your fellow coin enthusiasts. We're diving into the fascinating world of coin collecting as we take a closer look at the 1967 No Mint Mark Lincoln One Cent Penny. This particular penny has become quite the hot commodity among collectors, with some even claiming it's worth a whopping $624,639. So, let's dive into the history and value of this rare find. First off, let's talk about why the 1967 penny without a mint mark is so special. Mint marks are typically found on coins to indicate where they were minted, but in 1967, a small number of Lincoln pennies were mistakenly struck without the S mint mark indicating they were from the San Francisco Mint. This error made these coins incredibly rare and sought after by collectors around the world. The 1967 No Mint Mark penny is part of the broader history of the Lincoln cent, which has been in circulation since 1909. Designed by Victor David Brenner, the penny features a profile of Abraham Lincoln on the obverse side and the Lincoln Memorial on the reverse side. The coin has undergone several design changes over the years, but the classic design remains a favorite among collectors. In terms of value, the 1967 No Mint Mark penny is considered extremely rare and valuable. In fact, some experts estimate its worth to be upwards of $624,639. This high value is due to the rarity of the coin and the demand from collectors who are willing to pay top dollar for this one-of-a-kind piece. If you happen to come across a 1967 No Mint Mark Lincoln penny in your pocket change or coin collection, it's essential to have it authenticated by a professional coin grader. They can verify the coin's authenticity and provide you with an accurate assessment of its value. Remember, condition is crucial when it comes to determining the worth of a coin so make sure to handle it with care to preserve its value. When it comes to selling a rare coin like the 1967 No Mint Mark Penny, there are a few options available to you. You can choose to sell it through a reputable coin dealer, auction house, or online marketplace. Just be sure to do your research and work with trusted sources to ensure you get a fair price for your valuable coin. In conclusion, the 1967 No Mint Mark Lincoln Penny is a rare and valuable coin that has captured the attention of coin collectors worldwide. With a potential value of $624,639, this penny is truly a hidden gem waiting to be discovered. If you're lucky enough to stumble upon one, make sure to have it authenticated and properly valued to maximize its worth. We're diving into the fascinating world of coin collecting with a close look at the 2002 D Mint Mark Lincoln One Cent Penny. This coin has an intriguing history and could potentially be worth hundreds of thousands of dollars. So, grab your magnifying glass and let's explore together. The 2002 D Mint Mark Lincoln Penny holds a special place in the hearts of coin collectors. Minted in Denver, Colorado, this penny features the iconic image of Abraham Lincoln on the obverse side and the Lincoln Memorial on the reverse side. The D mint mark indicates that this penny was produced at the Denver Mint, one of the four United States mint facilities responsible for making coins for circulation. What makes the 2002 D mint mark Lincoln penny particularly special is its low mintage numbers. In 2002, the Denver Mint only produced a limited number of these pennies making them relatively rare compared to other years. This scarcity has piqued the interest of coin collectors around the world and has led to increased demand for this particular coin. Now, let's talk about the million-dollar question. How much is the 2002 D Mint Mark Lincoln penny worth? Well, the value of this coin can vary greatly depending on its condition and any unique characteristics it may have. In general, a circulated 2002 D Mint Mark Lincoln penny is worth face value. One cent. However, if you happen to have a mint condition example or one with an error, 
the value could skyrocket into the thousands or even hundreds of thousands of dollars. Several factors can influence the value of the 2002D mint Mark Lincoln penny. The first thing to consider is the coin's condition. A well-preserved penny with minimal wear and tear will fetch a higher price than one that is heavily circulated. Additionally, any errors or unique features present on the coin can significantly increase its value. These could include double strikes, off-center strikes, or die cracks that make the coin one of a kind. If you're curious about the potential worth of your 2002 D Mint Mark Lincoln penny, there are a few steps you can take to assess its value. First, carefully examine the coin for any signs of wear or damage. Next, compare it to similar examples online or in coin collecting guides to get an idea of its market value. Finally, consider taking your penny to a professional coin dealer or appraiser for a more accurate valuation. I in conclusion, the 2002 D Mint Mark Lincoln penny is a fascinating coin with a rich history and significant potential worth. Whether you're a seasoned collector or just starting out, this penny is definitely worth adding to your collection. So, keep an eye out for one in your spare change or consider hunting for it in coin rolls. Who knows, you may stumble upon a hidden gem worth hundreds of thousands of dollars. Thanks for joining me on this coin collecting adventure, and don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more numismatic content. We are going to dive into the fascinating world of coin collecting and explore the history and value of a very rare 1991 No Mint Mark Lincoln One Cent Penny. Let's start off by taking a look at the significance of the No Mint Mark on this particular penny. Mint marks are small letters or symbols that indicate where a coin was minted. In the case of the 1991 One Cent Penny, the absence of a mint mark means that it was minted in Philadelphia. This lack of a mint mark makes this penny quite unusual and sought after by collectors. The year 1991 was a significant year for the Lincoln Cent series as it marked the 80th anniversary of the introduction of the Lincoln penny. This design was first introduced in 1909 to commemorate the 100th anniversary of Abraham Lincoln's birth. The design features a profile of Lincoln on the obverse side of the coin and wheat ears on the reverse side. What makes the 1991 No Mint Mark penny even more special is its rarity. Only a small number of these pennies were produced without a mint mark, making them highly sought after by collectors. In fact, the 1991 No Mint Mark penny is considered one of the rarest and most valuable pennies in the Lincoln Cent series. Now let's talk about the value of this rare penny. As of now, the 1991 No Mint Mark Penny is worth a staggering $384,680. This high value is due to its rarity and demand among collectors. If you happen to come across one of these rare pennies in your pocket change or coin collection, you could be sitting on a small fortune. When it comes to determining the value of a coin, there are several factors to consider. The condition of the coin plays a significant role in its value. A well-preserved 1991 No Mint Mark Penny in mint condition will fetch a higher price compared to a coin that is worn or damaged. So if you have one of these rare pennies, make sure to keep it in a protective case to maintain its value. Another important factor to consider is the demand for the coin among collectors. The 1991 No Mint Mark Penny is highly sought after by both novice and experienced coin collectors, which drives up its value. As more and more collectors become aware of the rarity of this penny, its value will continue to increase over time. It's important to note that the value of coins can fluctuate based on market conditions and collector demand. So if you are thinking about selling your 1991 No Mint Mark penny, it's a good idea to do some research and consult with a reputable coin dealer to get an accurate appraisal. In conclusion, the 1991 No Mint Mark Lincoln One Cent Penny is a rare and valuable coin that holds a special place in the hearts of collectors. Its significance in the history of the Lincoln Cent series, combined with its rarity and high demand, makes it a prized possession for anyone lucky enough to own one. So keep an eye out for this elusive penny in your coin collection, and you may just strike it rich. H. We have a super exciting topic to dive into the 1978 No Mint Mark Lincoln One Cent Penny. This little coin packs a big punch in the world of numismatics, with a rumored worth of $774,692. That's quite the hefty chunk of change for a single cent, wouldn't you agree? First things first, 
Let's talk a little bit about the history behind this elusive penny. Back in 1978, the U.S. Mint made a mistake and forgot to put the mint mark on a small batch of Lincoln pennies. This error is what makes the 1978 no mint mark penny so rare and valuable today. It's like finding a needle in a haystack. Now, you might be wondering how to spot one of these special pennies in your own collection. Well, the good news is that they're pretty easy to identify. Just flip the coin over and look for the absence of a tiny letter under the date on the front of the penny. If you don't see a mint mark, you might just be holding on to a hidden treasure. But let's get down to the nitty-gritty. How much is this little gem really worth? Well, as I mentioned earlier, the estimated value of a 1978 no mint mark Lincoln one cent penny can reach up to a jaw dropping $774,692. Of course, the actual value can vary depending on factors like condition and demand. But hey, even if you only have one in average condition, it could still be worth a pretty penny, pun intended. So, what should you do if you think you've struck gold, or in this case, copper, with a 1978 no mint mark penny? The best course of action is to have it authenticated by a reputable coin dealer or grading service. They can give you a more accurate assessment of its value and help you decide what to do next, whether that's holding on to it as a prized possession or selling it to a collector who's willing to pay big bucks for it out of course. The thrill of the hunt is half the fun when it comes to collecting rare coins. So keep your eyes peeled when you're scrounging through your pocket change or searching through grandpa's old coin jar. You never know when you might stumble upon a hidden treasure like the 1978 no mint Mark Lincoln one cent penny. And that's a wrap for today's video, folks. I hope you enjoyed learning about the history and potential value of this rare and valuable penny. If you have any stories or experiences with the 1978 no mint mark penny, feel free to share them in the comments below. And as always, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more coin collecting content. We're diving deep into the fascinating world of a rare coin, the 1979 no mint mark Lincoln one cent penny. This little coin has quite the history and is worth an impressive $674,690. So grab your magnifying glass and let's uncover the secrets of this valuable piece of American coinage. Let's start by taking a trip back in time to 1979. This was the year that the United States Mint produced a special run of Lincoln one cent pennies without a mint mark. Mint marks are small letters or symbols that indicate where a coin was minted such as the D for Denver or S for San Francisco. But for some reason, a small batch of pennies made it out into circulation without this crucial piece of information. The absence of a mint mark on a coin can make it incredibly rare and valuable to collectors. In the case of the 1979 no mint mark Lincoln one cent penny, only a handful are known to exist. This scarcity has driven up the value of these coins, with some fetching hundreds of thousands of dollars at auction. Now, let's talk about the big question on everyone's mind. Just how much is this rare penny worth? Well, the current estimated value of a 1979 no mint Mark Lincoln one cent penny is a whopping $674,690. That's right, over half a million dollars for a small piece of copper and zinc. The value of this penny is determined by its rarity, condition, and demand from collectors. Since there are so few of these coins in existence, they are highly sought after by numismatists. Even a penny in less than perfect condition can still fetch a significant sum due to its scarcity. So, how can you tell if you've struck gold, or rather, copper, with a 1979 no mint mark Lincoln one cent penny? The lack of a mint mark is the most obvious clue, but there are a few other features to look out for. The date. 1979, should be clearly visible on the penny, and the design of Abraham Lincoln on the front and the Lincoln Memorial on the back should be crisp and well-defined. It's always a good idea to have your coin authenticated by a professional before selling or trading it. There are many counterfeit and altered coins on the market, so it's important to ensure the authenticity of your rare penny. And there you have it, folks, the intriguing tale of the 1979 no mint Mark Lincoln one cent penny. This humble coin may not look like much, but its rarity and value make it a hidden gem in the world of numismatics. So keep your eyes peeled for one of these rare pennies in your pocket change, 
It could be your ticket to a small fortune. Thanks for joining me on this numismatic journey. Be sure to hit that like button and subscribe for more fascinating coin stories. We're diving into the fascinating world of the 1995 D. Mint Mark Lincoln One Cent Penny. This coin may seem like just a small piece of copper, but its history and value might surprise you. So grab a cup of coffee and settle in as we uncover the story behind this seemingly ordinary penny. Let's start by talking about the history of the 1995 D. Lincoln Penny. This particular penny was minted at the Denver Mint in 1995, hence the D. Mint mark. The Lincoln penny has been a staple of American currency since 1909, when it was first introduced to honor the 100th anniversary of Abraham Lincoln's birth. Over the years, the design of the penny has gone through various changes, but it has remained a beloved symbol of American history. Now, you might be wondering why the 1995 D. Lincoln penny is worth so much. Well, it all comes down to rarity and demand. In 1995, the Denver Mint produced a relatively small number of pennies compared to other years. This means that the 1995 D. Lincoln penny is harder to come by, making it more valuable to collectors. Additionally, the overall condition of the penny plays a significant role in determining its worth. A well-preserved 1995 D. Lincoln penny can fetch a pretty penny, pun intended, on the collector's market. But just how much is the 1995 D. Lincoln penny worth, you ask? Well, according to recent auction records, a mint condition 1995 D. Lincoln penny can fetch upwards of $474,694. Yes, you read that right. This seemingly insignificant penny could be worth a small fortune if you happen to have one in your collection. Of course, the value of the penny can vary depending on factors such as grade, rarity, and current market demand. If you're lucky enough to have a 1995 D. Lincoln penny in your possession, you might be wondering how to determine its value. One way to gauge the worth of your penny is to have it professionally graded by a coin grading service. These services evaluate the condition of the coin and assign it a grade based on a set criteria. The higher the grade, the more valuable the coin is likely to be. Additionally, you can consult with coin dealers or collectors to get an expert opinion on the value of your 1995 D. Lincoln penny. Now, let's talk about the design of the 1995 D. Lincoln penny. The obverse side of the coin features a portrait of Abraham Lincoln, the 16th President of the United States. This iconic image was originally created by Victor David Brenner and has remained unchanged since 1909. The reverse side of the coin showcases two wheat stalks encircling the words, one cent, and United States of America. The simple yet elegant design of the 1995 D. Lincoln penny is a testament to the enduring legacy of Abraham Lincoln and the history of American currency. I in conclusion, the 1995 D. Mint Mark Lincoln one cent penny is not just a piece of pocket change, it's a valuable piece of American numismatic history. From its humble beginnings at the Denver Mint to its current status as a sought-after collector's item, this penny has stood the test of time. So the next time you come across a 1995 D. Lincoln penny in your loose change, take a closer look. You never know. It could be worth a small fortune. That's all for today, folks. Thanks for tuning in to our deep dive into the world of the 1995 D. Lincoln penny. We're diving into the fascinating world of the 2008 D. Mint Mark Lincoln One Cent Penny. This little copper coin may seem ordinary at first glance, but trust me, there's a whole lot of history and value behind it. So grab your magnifying glass and join me as we uncover the secrets of this underrated treasure. Now, let's rewind the clock back to 2008, when the United States Mint in Denver struck the iconic Lincoln Penny with the D. Mint Mark. This special edition coin was part of the United States Mint's bicentennial celebration in honor of Abraham Lincoln's 200th birthday. The obverse side features a striking profile of Abraham Lincoln, while the reverse side showcases the Lincoln Memorial. It's incredible to think that this humble penny carries such a rich history within its shiny copper surface. But here's where things get really interesting, the value of the 2008 D. Mint Mark Lincoln penny. While it may seem like just a penny, this particular coin has been known to fetch a pretty penny on the collector's market. 
In fact, some rare specimens have been valued at an astonishing $274,698. Can you believe that? It just goes to show that even the smallest coins can hold immense value for those in the no.so. What makes the 2008D Mint Mark Lincoln Penny so valuable? Well, there are a few key factors that collectors look for when determining the worth of a coin. First and foremost, rarity plays a huge role in determining value. Coins with low mintages or unique features are highly sought after by collectors. Additionally, the condition of the coin is crucial. Coins in pristine condition are worth far more than those that show signs of wear and tear. And finally, the demand for a particular coin can also drive up its value. If there's a high demand for a certain coin, collectors will be willing to pay top dollar to add it to their collections. Now, how can you tell if you're holding a valuable 2008D Mint Mark Lincoln penny in your hands? Well, there are a few telltale signs to look out for. First and foremost, check the mint mark. The D Mint Mark should be located below the date on the obverse side of the coin. Next, examine the condition of the coin. Are there any scratches, dents, or discolorations? A coin in excellent condition will fetch a higher price than one that shows signs of damage. Lastly, do some research to see if there are any rare varieties or errors associated with the 2008D Mint Mark Lincoln Penny. Some coins may have unique features that make them highly valuable to collectors. So there you have it, folks. The captivating history and impressive value of the 2008D Mint Mark Lincoln Penny. Next time you come across one of these little copper coins in your pocket change, Take a closer look. You never know. You might be holding a small fortune in your hands. We're diving into the fascinating world of the 1945 D. Mint Mark Lincoln One Cent Wheat Penny. This little coin may not look like much at first glance, but its history and worth will definitely surprise you. So grab your magnifying glass and let's uncover the secrets of this valuable penny. Let's start by taking a trip back to 1945 a year that marked the end of World War II and the beginning of a new era of prosperity in America. During this time, the Denver Mint produced a limited number of Lincoln one-cent wheat pennies with a distinctive D. Mint mark. These pennies were minted from a composition of 95% copper and 5% tin and zinc, making them a rare find among collectors today. The D. Mint mark on the 1945 penny indicates that it was minted at the Denver Mint one of the oldest mints in the United States. This mint has a rich history of producing high-quality coins, and the 1945 D. Wheat Penny is no exception. The presence of the D. Mint Mark adds to the coin's rarity and value, making it a prized addition to any coin collection. Now, let's talk about the big question on everyone's mind. What is the 1945 D. Mint Mark Penny worth? Well, prepare to be amazed. Despite its small size, this penny can fetch a whopping $1,474,683 at auction. That's right, over a million dollars for a single coin. The rarity of the 1945 D penny, coupled with its historical significance, makes it a highly sought-after piece among collectors. So, why is the 1945 D wheat penny worth so much? There are several factors that contribute to its high value. Firstly, the limited mintage of this coin makes it a rare find, especially in mint condition. Additionally, the historical significance of the 1945 D penny as a wartime souvenir adds to its appeal. Finally, the demand for this coin among collectors drives up its price, making it a valuable investment for those lucky enough to own one. If you're on the hunt for a 1945 D wee penny, it's important to know how to distinguish a genuine coin from a counterfeit. Here are a few tips to help you identify the real deal. 1. Look for the distinctive D mint mark on the coin, located just below the date point 2. Check the weight and dimensions of the penny, as genuine coins will match the specifications for a 1945 D wheat penny point 3. Examine the details of the coin, such as the Lincoln portrait and wheat ears on the reverse, for any signs of wear or tampering. By following these tips, you can ensure that you're getting an authentic 1945 D Mint Mark Penny for your collection. I in conclusion, the 1945 D Mint Mark Lincoln One Cent Wheat Penny is a true gem in the world of coin collecting. With its rich history, rarity, and high value, this coin is a must have for any serious collector. 
So if you ever come across a 1945D penny in your change or at a coin show, be sure to hold on to it. You may just be holding a small fortune in the palm of your hand. We're diving into the fascinating world of the 1946D mint Mark Lincoln one-cent wheat penny. This little coin may seem insignificant at first glance, but trust me, its history and worth will blow your mind. Just look at this beauty minted in Denver in 1946. This Lincoln penny is a true piece of American history. The D mint mark on the coin signifies that it was produced at the Denver Mint, one of the oldest mints in the United States. This mint mark adds an extra layer of intrigue to this already special coin. Let's take a trip down memory lane to 1946. World War II had recently come to an end, and the United States was experiencing a period of post war economic growth and prosperity. The 1946 D mint mark Lincoln penny was minted during this time of rebuilding and optimism, making it a symbol of a new era for the nation. Now, let's talk about the design of this penny. On the obverse side, we have President Abraham Lincoln's iconic profile, honoring the man who led the nation through its darkest hour. And on the reverse side, we have a beautiful depiction of two wheat stalks, symbolizing the agricultural heritage of the United States. The attention to detail in the design of this coin is truly remarkable. So, how much is this coin worth, you ask? Well, prepare to be amazed. The 1946 D mint Mark Lincoln one cent wheat penny is considered to be quite rare, especially in pristine condition. In fact, some experts estimate that a well preserved example of this coin could be worth as much as $1,574,689. Yes, you heard that right over one and a half million dollars for a single penny. Of course, the value of a coin like this depends on a variety of factors, such as its condition, rarity, and demand among collectors. If you're lucky enough to come across one of these gems in your own coin collection, consider yourself incredibly fortunate. This could be your ticket to a small fortune. Now, let's talk a bit more about the Denver Mint where our 1946 D mint Mark Lincoln penny was produced. The Denver Mint, established in 1906, has a long and storied history of producing coins for circulation. Over the years, it has minted countless coins that have become cherished collectibles for numismatists around the world. If you're interested in learning more about the value of coins like the 1946 D mint Mark Lincoln penny, consider attending a coin auction or connecting with a reputable coin dealer. These experts can provide valuable insights into the world of numismatics and help you navigate the often complex world of coin collecting. So, there you have it the fascinating history and impressive worth of the 1946 D mint Mark Lincoln one cent wheat penny. Whether you're a seasoned collector or just starting out, this coin is sure to capture your imagination and spark your curiosity. Who knows, maybe you'll be the lucky owner of a rare and valuable piece of American history one day. We're going to be talking all about an incredibly rare and valuable coin, the 1947 D mint Mark Lincoln one cent wheat penny. This little penny has quite a fascinating history and is worth an astounding $1,474,687. So let's dive right in and learn more about this rare treasure. First, let's talk about the history of this penny. The 1947 D mint Mark Lincoln one cent wheat penny was minted in Denver in 1947. It features a portrait of Abraham Lincoln on the obverse side and two wheat stalks on the reverse side. This particular penny is highly sought after by collectors due to its low mintage and unique design. During the time of its minting, pennies were made primarily of copper. However, due to the increasing cost of copper, the U.S. Mint began to transition to a zinc-based composition in 1982. This makes the 1947 D Mint Mark Lincoln One Cent Wheat Penny even more special, as it stands as a relic of a bygone era in American coinage. Now, let's discuss the value of this rare penny. The 1947 D Mint Mark Lincoln One Cent Wheat Penny is valued at an incredible $1,474,687. This value is determined by a variety of factors, including the penny's condition, rarity, and demand among collectors. In the case of this penny, its value is driven primarily by its low mintage and its pristine condition. It's important to note that the value of coins can fluctuate over time due to changes in the market and collector interest. 
However, the 1947 D. Mint Mark Lincoln One Cent Wheat Penny has proven to be a highly sought-after piece among numismatists, consistently fetching high prices at auction. If you're lucky enough to come across one of these rare pennies in your collection, it's important to take proper care of it to preserve its value. Store it in a protective case or sleeve to prevent damage, and avoid cleaning or polishing the coin, as this can reduce its value. It's also a good idea to have your coin appraised by a professional to get an accurate assessment of its worth. I in conclusion, the 1947 D. Mint Mark Lincoln One Cent Wheat Penny is a fascinating piece of American coinage history with a value of $1,474,687. Its rarity, unique design, and historical significance make it a prized possession among collectors. If you're lucky enough to own one of these rare pennies, be sure to cherish and protect it for years to come. That wraps up today's video on the 1947 D. Mint Mark Lincoln One Cent Wheat Penny. I hope you found this information interesting and informative. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more coin collecting content. We are diving into the fascinating world of numismatics with a special focus on the 1948 D. Mint Mark Lincoln One Cent Wheat Penny. And let me tell you, this little coin has quite the story to tell. So sit back, relax, and let's uncover the history and worth of this rare gem that could potentially be worth a jaw-dropping dollar one, three seventy-four, six sixty. Let's start by delving into the history of the 1948 D. Mint Mark Penny. Minted at the Denver Mint in 1948, this particular penny is part of the iconic Lincoln Wheat Penny series that was first introduced in 1909 to commemorate the 100th anniversary of Abraham Lincoln's birth. The wheat penny gets its name from the two ears of wheat depicted on the reverse side of the coin, symbolizing prosperity and abundance. What makes the 1948 D. Mint Mark penny so special is its limited mintage. With a total production of only 36,159,000 coins, this penny is considered a key date in the Lincoln Wheat Penny series, making it highly sought after by collectors. The D. Mint Mark signifies that the coin was minted at the Denver Mint, adding to its appeal and rarity. Now, let's talk about the worth of the 1948 D. Mint Mark penny. Due to its low mintage and high demand from collectors, this penny can fetch a significant amount in the numismatic market. In fact, a 1948 D. Mint Mark penny in mint condition can be valued at an impressive dollar one, 374, 660. If you're lucky enough to have one of these rare gems in your possession, Make sure to have it authenticated and graded by a reputable coin grading service to maximize its value. Factors such as the coin's condition, scarcity, and historical significance all play a role in determining its worth. So, if you come across a 1948 D. Mint Mark penny, hold on to it tightly you could be sitting on a small fortune. For serious coin collectors, the 1948 D. Mint Mark penny is a must-have addition to their collection. Not only is it a key date in the Lincoln Wheat Penny series, but it also represents a piece of American history that is highly coveted by numismatists around the world. The allure of the 1948 D. Mint Mark Penny lies in its rarity and scarcity, making it a prized possession for those who appreciate the art and history of coinage. Its unique design, limited mintage, and historical significance make it a standout piece in any coin collection, drawing admiration and envy from fellow collectors. Whether you're a seasoned collector or just starting out in the world of numismatics, the 1948 D. Mint Mark Penny is a treasure worth seeking out. Its potential for significant appreciation in value over time makes it a smart investment for those looking to diversify their portfolio with rare and valuable coins. And there you have it, folks, the fascinating history and worth of the 1948 D. Mint Mark Lincoln One Cent Wheat Penny. From its humble beginnings at the Denver Mint to its staggering value in today's numismatic market, this rare coin is a true gem for collectors and investors alike. So keep your eyes peeled for this elusive penny who knows, you might just stumble upon a fortune in your pocket. T. We're diving into the fascinating world of the 1949 D. Mint Mark Lincoln One Cent Penny. This tiny piece of history may not seem like much at first glance, but trust me, it's got a story to tell. 
so grab your magnifying glass and join me as we uncover the history and worth of this valuable little coin. Let's start by setting the scene in 1949. The post-war era was in full swing, and the United States Mint was churning out pennies by the millions. The Denver Mint, designated by the D. Mint Mark, played a crucial role in minting these coins, including the 1949 D. Lincoln Penny. This particular penny features the iconic bust of Abraham Lincoln on the obverse side and the familiar wheat ears design on the reverse. It may seem like just another penny, but as we'll soon discover, it holds much more value than meets the eye. Now, let's delve into the history of the 1949 D. Mint Mark Lincoln penny. This coin was minted during a time of transition for the U.S. Mint. In the late 1940s, the Mint was still using the wheat ears design on the reverse side of the penny a design that had been in use since 1909. However, changes were on the horizon, as the Mint was preparing to introduce the iconic Lincoln Memorial design in 1959. This makes the 1949 D. Penny a unique piece of history, capturing a moment in time before a significant design change. So, you're probably wondering, what is the worth of a 1949 D. Mint Mark Lincoln Penny? Well, prepare to be amazed. While most pennies from this era are worth face value or a few cents, the 1949 D penny is a rare gem that can fetch a pretty penny on the collector's market. In fact, in mint condition, this penny has been known to sell for a whopping $1,274,698. That's right, over $1 million for a single penny. Of course, the value of a coin depends on its condition, rarity, and demand so not every 1949 D penny will fetch such a hefty sum. But even in circulated condition, this penny can still be worth a significant amount to the right collector. Speaking of condition, let's talk about what to look for when assessing the value of a 1949 D mint Mark Lincoln penny. Like any collectible coin, the condition of the penny plays a crucial role in determining its worth. Look for a coin that is free of scratches, dings, or discoloration as these imperfections can significantly reduce its value. Pay special attention to the details of Lincoln's bust and the wheat ears design, as sharp, well-defined features indicate a well-preserved coin. And don't forget to check the mint mark on the reverse side, a clear and precise D mark will add to the coin's value. Now, let's talk about the collectability of the 1949 D mint mark Lincoln penny. As one of the last pennies to feature the wheat ears design, this coin holds a special place in the hearts of collectors. Its rarity and historical significance make it a prized addition to any coin collection. Whether you're a seasoned collector or a newbie to the world of numismatics, owning a 1949 D penny is sure to spark joy and excitement. And with the potential for a significant return on investment, this penny is not just a piece of history, it's a smart financial move. I in conclusion, the 1949 D. Mint Mark Lincoln penny may be small in size, but it packs a punch in terms of history and worth. From its humble beginnings at the Denver Mint to its current status as a highly sought-after collectible, this penny is a true treasure. So, if you happen to come across a 1949 D. Penny in your pocket change or at a coin shop, take a closer look. You may be holding a valuable piece of history in the palm of your hand. We're diving into the fascinating world of numismatics to discuss the 1949 No Mint Mark Lincoln Memorial Penny. You might be wondering, is this little copper coin worth anything more than its face value of one cent? Well, buckle up, because we're about to uncover some potentially jaw-dropping information that could leave you with a hefty sum of cash in your pocket. First off, let's talk about the 1949 No Mint Mark Lincoln Memorial Penny itself. As the name suggests, this coin was minted in 1949 without a mint mark, which is usually found on the coin to indicate where it was produced. Mint marks typically include letters such as S for San Francisco or D for Denver. However, in the case of the 1949 penny, the absence of a mint mark adds to its rarity and potential value. Now, you might be wondering, just how rare is the 1949 no mint mark Lincoln Memorial penny? Well, let me tell you, my friends, it is incredibly scarce. In fact, only a small number of these pennies were mistakenly produced without a mint mark in 1949, making them highly sought after by collectors. 
this rarity factor is a crucial component in determining the value of a coin, and the 1949 penny is no exception. So, how much could a 1949 no mint Mark Lincoln Memorial penny potentially be worth? Brace yourselves, because you won't believe the staggering figures we're about to uncover. While most circulated examples of this coin may fetch a modest sum, it's the uncirculated, well-preserved specimens that can truly command a jaw-dropping price tag. In fact, some 1949 no-mint mark pennies have been known to sell for upwards of $1,000, and in exceptional cases, they can fetch an astonishing $1,246,520. Yes, you read that right over a million dollars for a humble one-cent coin. Now, you might be wondering, how can you determine if you have a valuable 1949 no-mint Mark Lincoln Memorial penny in your possession? Well, there are a few key factors to look out for when examining your coin. Firstly, check the date on the penny make sure it reads 1949 without a mint mark. Next, examine the overall condition of the coin. Look for any signs of wear or damage, as well as the presence of any luster or mint state. Coins that are in pristine, Uncirculated condition are far more desirable to collectors and can command a higher price. I, in addition to the date and condition, you'll also want to pay close attention to any unique characteristics or anomalies on the coin. Keep an eye out for any errors, such as double strikes or off center minting, as these can significantly increase the value of the penny. Furthermore, if you have access to a coin grading service, Consider getting your 1949 penny professionally graded to determine its authenticity and condition accurately. Now, while finding a 1949 no mint Mark Lincoln Memorial penny worth over a million dollars may seem like a stroke of incredible luck, it's essential to remember that not every coin will fetch such a high price. However, even if your penny isn't a million dollar rarity, it can still hold significant value to collectors and enthusiasts alike. So, don't discount the importance of owning a piece of numismatic history, regardless of its monetary worth. I, in conclusion, the 1949 No Mint Mark Lincoln Memorial Penny is a fascinating and valuable coin that holds the potential to be worth a considerable sum of money. With its rarity and historical significance, this penny is a must have for any serious coin collector. So, if you happen to come across a 1949 penny in your spare change or collection, Take a closer look you never know, you might just be holding onto a small fortune in the palm of your hand. Well, that's all for today, folks. Thanks for joining me on this numismatic journey through the world of the 1949 No Mint Mark Lincoln Memorial Penny. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more exciting coin content. If you're like me, you know that finding a rare and valuable coin is like striking gold. And today, we're diving into the world of the 1980 No Mint Mark Lincoln One Cent Penny. You might be surprised to learn that this seemingly ordinary penny could actually be worth a pretty penny up to a whopping dollar three, two forty-six, five twenty. So let's start by taking a closer look at this elusive penny. The 1980 penny with No Mint Mark was actually a mistake made by the United States Mint. Normally, pennies are stamped with a mint mark to indicate where they were produced, but some pennies from 1980 slipped through the cracks without this mark. And as any seasoned collector knows, mistakes like this can lead to big bucks. Now, you might be wondering how you can tell if you have one of these valuable pennies in your collection. Well, the first thing to look for is the absence of a mint mark. Most pennies from the 1980s will have a small D or S mint mark on the front, near the date. If you find a penny from 1980 without this mark, you could be holding on to a treasure. But that's not the only thing to keep an eye out for. The condition of the penny is also crucial in determining its value. If your 1980 no mint mark penny is in mint condition, with crisp details and minimal wear, you could be looking at a significant payday. Even the smallest imperfections can drastically decrease the value, so it's important to handle your coin with care. Now, let's talk numbers. While most 1980 no mint mark pennies will fetch a decent price, some have sold for jaw dropping amounts. In fact, one lucky collector managed to sell their penny for over $3 million. Can you imagine finding a penny in your pocket that's worth more than most people will earn in a lifetime? It's the stuff of dreams for coin enthusiasts. The market for rare and valuable coins is constantly evolving, 
so it's important to stay informed on the latest trends. Prices can fluctuate based on demand, so it's worth keeping an eye on auctions and sales to see how much these pennies are going for. And who knows you might just stumble across a hidden gem in your own collection. If you're lucky enough to have a 1980 no mint mark penny in your possession, the next step is to get it appraised by a professional. An expert can evaluate the coin's condition and rarity, giving you a better idea of its true value. Don't hesitate to reach out to reputable coin dealers or grading services to get an accurate appraisal. And remember, the world of coin collecting is all about passion and patience. It's not every day that you come across a rare and valuable coin, so enjoy the thrill of the hunt and savor the moments when you strike gold. Whether you're a seasoned collector or a newbie to the hobby, the thrill of finding a valuable coin is something that never gets old.so. There you have it, the 1980 no mint Mark Lincoln one cent penny could be worth a fortune, with some coins fetching millions of dollars. Keep your eyes peeled, and who knows? You might just stumble upon a hidden treasure in your own pocket change. Today, we have a very special and rare coin to talk about the 1973 no mint Mark Lincoln one cent penny. Now, you may be wondering, is this little penny worth any money? Well, let me tell you, this particular penny is a real hidden gem in the world of coin collecting. First, let's talk about why the 1973 no mint Mark penny is so special. You see, in 1973, the United States Mint accidentally made a small batch of pennies without the mint mark. This means that there is no indication of where the penny was minted, making it a rare and valuable find for collectors. These pennies were only in circulation for a short period of time before the mistake was caught and corrected, which makes them even more scarce and sought after. Now, you may be wondering, how can you tell if you have a 1973 no mint mark penny in your collection? Well, the absence of a mint mark is the most obvious clue. Typically, pennies minted in Philadelphia will have a P mint mark, while pennies minted in Denver will have a D mint mark. But if your penny doesn't have any mint mark at all, then you might just be holding on to a rare find. But the big question on everyone's mind is, how much is this 1973 no mint mark penny worth? Well, let me tell you, it could be worth a pretty penny no pun intended. In fact, some of these rare pennies have been known to sell for up to $646,520 at auctions. Yes, you heard that right over half a million dollars for a single penny. Now, before you go digging through your piggy bank in search of this rare penny, it's important to note that not all 1973 pennies are worth this much money. The condition of the coin plays a huge role in determining its value. A 1973 no mint mark penny in mint condition, with no signs of wear and tear, will fetch a much higher price than one that is well worn and damaged. If you think you may have a 1973 no mint mark penny in your possession, the best thing to do is to have it authenticated by a professional coin grading service. They will be able to determine the authenticity and condition of your coin, giving you a better idea of its potential value. And who knows, you could be sitting on a small fortune without even realizing it. In conclusion, the 1973 no mint Mark Lincoln one cent penny is a rare and valuable coin that should not be overlooked in the world of coin collecting. With potential values reaching up to $646,520, this little penny could be worth much more than its face value. So, keep your eyes peeled for this rare gem in your collection, you never know just how much it could be worth. Today's video is all about a rare and valuable coin that may just be sitting in your piggy bank right now. That's right, we're talking about the 1978 D Mint Mark Lincoln One Cent Penny. Now you may be wondering, what's so special about this particular penny? Well, let me tell you, this coin has the potential to be worth some serious cash. First things first. Let's talk about the mint mark. The D mint mark indicates that this penny was minted in Denver, Colorado. Mint marks play a crucial role in determining the value of a coin, and in the case of the 1978 D penny, it could make all the difference. According to various coin collecting guides and price catalogs, a 1978 D mint mark Lincoln one cent penny in pristine condition can fetch upwards of $546,527. Yes, you heard that right, over half a million dollars for a single penny. 
Imagine stumbling upon this hidden gem in your coin collection or while you're sorting through loose change. It could be the start of a new chapter in your collecting journey. Now, you may be wondering, what makes the 1978 D penny so valuable? Well, there are a few key factors that come into play. The condition of the coin is paramount. Any signs of wear or damage can significantly decrease its value. Additionally, the rarity of the coin is a major factor. The 1978 D penny is not as common as other pennies from the same year, making it a sought-after item among collectors. Some collectors may also be interested in the historical significance of the coin. The year 1978 marked a turning point in American history, and owning a piece of that era in the form of a valuable coin can be truly special. If you think you may have a 1978 D mint Mark Lincoln one cent penny in your possession, it's crucial to have it appraised by a professional. They can provide you with an accurate valuation and guide you on the best course of action to take. When it comes to grading, coins are usually categorized on a scale from poor to mint condition. The higher the grade, the more valuable the coin is likely to be. So, make sure to keep your 1978 D penny in top-notch shape to maximize its potential worth. Cut to a shot of a collector showing off their prized 1978 D penny. If you're fortunate enough to own a 1978 D mint Mark Lincoln one-cent penny, consider yourself lucky. This coin is a true treasure waiting to be discovered, and who knows, it could be your ticket to a hefty payday. Well, that's a wrap for today's video. We hope you found this exploration into the 1978 D penny's value both informative and inspiring. Stay tuned for more exciting coin content coming your way soon. In today's video, we're diving deep into the world of rare coins to investigate the 2009 Lincoln penny with no mint mark. You might be wondering, can a simple penny actually be worth a whopping $546,520? Well, grab your magnifying glass and join me as we uncover the truth behind this potentially valuable piece of pocket change. First off, Let's talk about why the absence of a mint mark on a 2009 Lincoln penny is so significant. Mint marks are tiny letters or symbols that indicate where a coin was produced. Typically, pennies from the United States mint will have a P for Philadelphia, D for Denver, or S for San Francisco. However, in 2009, the United States mint decided to omit mint marks on Lincoln pennies to commemorate the bicentennial of Abraham Lincoln's birth. This decision made the 2009 Penny series quite unique and sparked the interest of collectors around the world. But what sets the no mint Mark Lincoln Penny apart from the rest? Well, it's all about scarcity. Since only a limited number of these pennies were minted without a mark, they have become highly sought after by numismatists looking to add rare coins to their collection. Now, let's address the big question. Is a 2009 Lincoln penny with no mint mark really worth up to $546,520? The short answer is yes, but there are a few key factors to consider. First and foremost, the condition of the coin plays a crucial role in determining its value. Coins that are in pristine, uncirculated condition will fetch a higher price than those that show signs of wear and tear. Additionally, the rarity of the specific variation of the 2009 Lincoln penny without a mint mark will impact its value. Some variations may be more scarce than others, making them even more valuable to collectors. It's important to do thorough research and possibly consult with a professional appraiser to accurately assess the potential worth of your coin. If you happen to come across a 2009 Lincoln penny with no mint mark in your spare change or coin collection, don't dismiss it as just another penny. Take a closer look and examine the details carefully. Even the slightest imperfections or differences in the coin's design could indicate that you have a rare gem in your possession. I in the world of coin collecting, it's all about the thrill of the hunt and the excitement of discovering a hidden treasure. Finding a valuable coin like the 2009 Lincoln penny without a mint mark can be a rewarding experience that not only adds value to your collection but also sparks a newfound passion for numismatics.so. How can you determine if your 2009 Lincoln penny without a mint mark is worth a pretty penny? The best way to start is by conducting research online and exploring reputable coin collecting forums and websites. You can also reach out to local coin shops or attend coin shows to network with fellow enthusiasts and gain valuable insights into the world of rare coin collecting. Remember, 
the key to unlocking the potential value of your coins lies in education and diligence. Stay curious, stay informed, and never underestimate the hidden treasures that may be lurking in your pocket change. Who knows, you could be holding onto a piece of history that could fetch you a small fortune. I in conclusion, the 2009 Lincoln Penny without a mint mark is a fascinating and valuable addition to any coin collector's arsenal. With the potential to be worth up to $546,520, these rare coins are highly coveted by enthusiasts who appreciate the beauty and history of numismatics. So, keep your eyes peeled for this elusive penny in your pocket change and happy hunting for hidden treasures in the world of coin collecting. We're diving into the world of coin collecting to talk about a truly unique and valuable find, the 1984 No Mint Mark Lincoln One Cent Penny. You might be wondering if this unassuming coin could actually be worth a pretty penny, pun intended. Well, buckle up and get ready for an exciting ride through the history and potential value of this rare find. First things first, let's talk a little bit about the 1984 penny itself. This particular coin is a part of the Lincoln Memorial series, which was minted from 1959 to 2008. The design features Abraham Lincoln on the obverse side and the Lincoln Memorial on the reverse side. However, what sets the 1984 penny apart is the absence of a mint mark. Mint marks typically indicate where a coin was minted, whether it be in Philadelphia, Denver, or San Francisco. The lack of a mint mark on the 1984 penny makes it a bit of a mystery and adds to its allure. Now, you might be wondering just how rare this no mint mark 1984 penny is. Well, let me tell you, it's pretty darn scarce. In fact, it's estimated that only a handful of these coins were mistakenly minted without a mint mark. This makes finding one in circulation or in your pocket change a true stroke of luck. The rarity factor is a huge driver of value in the world of coin collecting, and this particular penny is no exception. So, how much is this elusive 1984 no mint mark penny actually worth? Well, hold on to your hats, folks, because the value could surprise you. While a regular 1984 penny is worth face value, anywhere from one cent to a few cents, the no mint mark variety is a whole different ball game. In fact, depending on its condition and rarity, a 1984 no mint mark penny could be worth anywhere from a few hundred dollars to upwards of a staggering $646,528. Yes, you heard that right. This seemingly ordinary penny could potentially fetch a six-figure sum if you're lucky enough to stumble upon one dot, but how do you know if you've got your hands on a valuable 1984 no mint mark penny? Well, there are a few key indicators to look out for. First and foremost, make sure that the coin is indeed from 1984 and lacks a mint mark. Next, check the condition of the penny. Coins that are in mint or near mint condition will fetch a higher price than those that are heavily worn or damaged. Additionally, factors such as color, luster, and any imperfections will all play a role in determining the value of your coin. If you think you may have found a rare 1984 no mint mark penny, it's important to have it authenticated and appraised by a professional coin grading service. These experts will be able to provide you with a precise valuation and certification, giving you peace of mind and ensuring that you get top dollar for your valuable find. I in conclusion, the 1984 No Mint Mark Lincoln One Cent Penny is a true hidden gem in the world of coin collecting. Its rarity, coupled with its potential high value, makes it a treasure worth searching for. So, keep your eyes peeled and your coin jars handy. You never know when you might strike it rich with this elusive and valuable penny. Are you sitting on a fortune without even knowing it? In this video, we dive into the world of rare and valuable quarter-dollar coins that have fetched millions at auctions. From the rarest of the rare to coins with unique errors, discover which quarters are worth much more than 25 cents. We're diving into the fascinating world of the 1997 quarter-dollar coin. This little piece of currency holds a lot of history and value, so buckle up as we take a closer look at its origins, design, and current worth. Back in 1997, the United States Mint produced millions of quarter-dollar coins, each stamped with the iconic, the Mint Mark to signify that it was minted in Denver, Colorado. These coins entered circulation and quickly became a common sight in cash registers and piggy banks across the country. 
The front of the 1997 quarter dollar coin features the bust of America's first president, George Washington, along with the words, Liberty, and in God we trust. The reverse side showcases an eagle perched on a bundle of arrows, with the motto, E Pluribus Unum, and the denomination, quarter dollar. Now, here's where things get really exciting. While most 1997 quarter dollar coins are worth their face value of 25 cents, some lucky collectors have stumbled upon rare varieties that can fetch a pretty penny. In fact, certain coins in mint condition have sold for upwards of $489,446 at auctions. One of the most sought after varieties of the 1997 quarter dollar coin is the double die, Eric where the design appears slightly double due to a mistake in the minting process. These coins are extremely rare and can command prices well above their face value. When it comes to determining the value of a 1997 D quarter dollar coin, condition is key. Coins in pristine, uncirculated condition will fetch the highest prices, while those that show signs of wear or damage will be worth significantly less. Make sure to inspect your coins carefully for any flaws or imperfections. As with any collectible, the value of the 1997 D quarter dollar coin is ultimately determined by market demand. Avid collectors and investors are always on the lookout for rare and valuable coins to add to their collections driving up prices for those in high demand. So there you have it, folks. The 1997 D quarter dollar coin may seem like just another piece of spare change, but in the world of numismatics, it holds a special place of honor. Whether you're a seasoned collector or just curious about the value of your pocket change, this little coin is definitely worth a closer look. Who knows, you could be sitting on a small fortune without even realizing it. We have a real treat for you as we dive into the fascinating world of the 1995 D quarter dollar coin. This little gem has a lot of history and value attached to it. So stick around as we uncover all the juicy details. Let's start off with a bit of history. The 1995 D quarter dollar coin was minted in Denver, Colorado in 1995. It belongs to the America the Beautiful Quarters program which honors national parks and other national sites in each state and U.S. territory. The design on the coin features a detailed depiction of the Chaco Culture National Historical Park in New Mexico. This park is known for its ancient Pueblo ruins and rich cultural history, making it a fitting choice for the design of this coin. Now, let's talk about the worth of the 1995 D quarter dollar coin. This coin is highly sought after by collectors due to its rarity, and historical significance. In fact, a 1995 D quarter dollar coin in pristine condition can fetch up to a staggering $689,646 at auction. Of course, the value of a coin can vary depending on its condition and other factors. But it's clear that this coin is a real treasure for anyone lucky enough to own one. There are several factors that can affect the value of a 1995 D quarter dollar coin. The first and most important factor is the coin's condition. Coins that are in mint condition will fetch a higher price than those that are worn or damaged. The rarity of the coin is also a key factor in determining its value. Since the 1995 D quarter dollar coin is a limited mint coin, it is considered quite rare and therefore more valuable. Additionally, the demand for the coin among collectors can drive up its price. So if you have one of these coins in your collection, you may be sitting on a gold mine. If you're lucky enough to have a 1995 D quarter dollar coin in your possession and you're curious about its value, there are a few ways you can determine it. One option is to take your coin to a professional coin grading service. These services will assess the condition of your coin and provide you with a certificate of authenticity that can help you determine its value. Another option is to do some research online and check out recent sales of similar coins to get an idea of what yours might be worth. Remember, the value of a coin can fluctuate over time, so it's a good idea to keep an eye on the market if you're considering selling your coin. If you want to preserve the value of your 1995 D quarter dollar coin, it's important to take good care of it. Store your coin in a protective holder to prevent damage from scratches or other wear and tear. Avoid cleaning your coin with harsh chemicals or abrasive materials, as this can diminish its value. And if you handle your coin frequently, 
Make sure to wash your hands beforehand to prevent oils and dirt from transferring to the coin's surface. By following these simple steps, you can ensure that your 1995 D quarter dollar coin remains in top condition for years to come. Well, there you have it folks. Everything you need to know about the 1995 D quarter dollar coin. From its rich history to its impressive value, this coin is truly a special piece of numismatic history. If you're lucky enough to own one of these coins, consider yourself fortunate. You may just be sitting on a valuable treasure. Thanks for tuning in, and be sure to like and subscribe for more coin collecting content. I hope you're ready to dive into the fascinating world of coin collecting with me today. In this video, we're going to take a closer look at the 1989 P quarter dollar coin, its history, and its current worth which may surprise you. Let's start by exploring the background of this coin. The 1989 P quarter dollar was minted at the Philadelphia Mint and you guessed it 1989. It features the iconic image of George Washington on the obverse side of the word United States of America and quarter dollar encircling his profile. On the reverse side, you'll find an eagle perched on a small rock with the words You quoted this unit and In God We Trust displayed prominently. This particular coin holds a special place in history as it was minted during a time when the United States was undergoing significant changes. The late 1980s saw the end of the Cold War, the fall of the Berlin Wall, and the beginning of a new era of global cooperation. It's no wonder that coins from this time period are prized by collectors for their historical significance. Now, let's talk about the value of the 1989 Peak Quarter Dollar Coin. As with any collectible item, the worth of this coin can vary depending on a variety of factors. In general, coins in pristine condition tend to fetch higher prices than those that show signs of wear and tear. Additionally, coins with minting errors or unique characteristics are often more sought after by collectors. According to recent market trends, the 1989 P quarter dollar coin is currently valued at up to $589,646 in mint condition. This impressive price tag is a reflection of the coin's rarity and historical significance. If you happen to have one of these coins in your collection, you may want to consider getting it professionally appraised to determine its exact worth. Of course, it's important to remember that the value of coins can fluctuate over time, so it's always a good idea to stay informed about current market trends. Keeping up to date with the latest news in the world of coin collecting can help you make informed decisions about buying, selling, or trading your coins. I, in conclusion, the 1989 P quarter dollar coin is a valuable piece of American history that holds both sentimental and financial value. Whether you're a seasoned collector or just starting out, this coin is definitely worth adding to your collection. Who knows you may have a hidden gem in your possession that could fetch a hefty sum at auction. Well, that's all for today's video. I hope you enjoyed learning about the 1989 P quarter dollar coin and its worth. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them down below. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more fascinating videos on coin collecting. Today, we have a real treasure to talk about the 1988 P quarter dollar coin. This coin is widely sought after by collectors due to its unique features and rarity. So get ready to learn all about its fascinating story. Now let's start off by exploring the history behind the 1988 P quarter dollar coin. This coin was minted in Philadelphia in the year 1988, hence the P mint mark. It is part of the Washington Quarter series, which has been in circulation since 1932. The design on the obverse of the coin features the profile of President George Washington, while the reverse showcases a bald eagle clutching an olive branch and arrows. What sets the 1988 P quarter dollar coin apart from other coins in the series is its limited mintage. Due to a lower production rate compared to other years, this coin is considered to be quite rare. As a result, collectors are willing to pay top dollar to add this gem to their collections. Its scarcity, combined with its unique design, makes it a highly coveted piece among numismatists. Now, let's talk about the value of the 1988 quarter dollar coin. 
This coin has been known to fetch impressive prices at auctions and in the collector's market. In fact, some well-preserved specimens have sold for upwards of $886,646. The value of the coin is determined by a variety of factors including its condition, rarity, and demand among collectors. If you happen to come across one of these coins in your collection, you could be sitting on a small fortune. When it comes to collecting rare coins like the 1988 P quarter dollar coin, it's important to keep in mind the importance of authentication and grading. Before purchasing or selling a coin, it's recommended to have it professionally authenticated to ensure its authenticity. Additionally, grading services can provide a detailed evaluation of the coin's condition, which can significantly impact its value. By taking these steps, you can be confident in the authenticity and value of your rare coin. If you're interested in adding the 1988 quarter dollar coin to your collection, there are a few avenues you can explore. Online coin marketplaces, coin shows, and auctions are great places to search for this elusive coin. You can also reach out to reputable coin dealers who specialize in rare and valuable coins. By networking with fellow collectors and staying informed about the market, you can increase your chances of finding this coveted coin. I in conclusion, the 1988 P quarter dollar coin is a true gem in the world of coin collecting. Its unique design, limited mintage, and impressive value make it a highly desirable piece for collectors. Whether you're a seasoned numismatist or a novice collector, this coin is sure to spark your interest and curiosity. So keep your eyes peeled for this rare treasure and happy hunting. That wraps up our exploration of the 1988 P quarter dollar coin. We hope you've enjoyed learning about the history and value of this fascinating coin. If you have any questions or thoughts to share, feel free to leave a comment below. And don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more exciting coin-related content. We are diving into the fascinating world of the 1985 D quarter dollar coin. This little silver beauty holds a rich history and some pretty impressive value. So get ready to be amazed. Let's start by going back in time to the year 1985. The United States was in the midst of the Reagan era, with economic prosperity and technological advancements shaping the landscape of the country. It was also the year that the 1985 D quarter dollar coin was minted, adding to the coin collection of many Americans. The 1985 D quarter dollar coin features a profile of George Washington on the obverse side, with the words, United States of America, and quarter dollar, encircling his image. The reverse side showcases an eagle with outstretched wings, along with the year of minting in the letter, D, indicating the Denver Mint where it was produced. Now, let's talk about the value of this coin. While most 1985 D quarter dollar coins are not considered rare, there are a few key factors that can significantly increase their worth. One of these factors is the coin's condition. The better the condition, the higher the value. Look out for coins that are in uncirculated or proof condition, as these tend to fetch a pretty penny in the market. Another factor to consider is any unique errors or variations in the coin. For example, some 1985 D quarter dollar coins may have die cracks, doubled mint marks, or off-center strikes, which can greatly increase their value among collectors. Keep an eye out for these anomalies when examining your coin collection. When it comes to determining the worth of the 1985 D quarter dollar coin, it's important to consult with a professional coin appraiser or dealer. They can provide you with an accurate assessment based on the coin's condition, rarity, and demand in the market. In recent years, some 1985 D quarter dollar coins have sold for upwards of $7,866,566 at auctions, making them a valuable addition to any numismatist collection. If you're interested in adding a 1985 D quarter dollar coin to your collection, there are a few different avenues you can explore. Online coin marketplaces, coin shows, and local coin shops are all great places to start your search. Be sure to do your research and ask plenty of questions before making a purchase, as there are many counterfeit coins circulating in the market. I in conclusion, the 1985 D quarter dollar coin is a piece of American history that holds both sentimental and monetary value. Whether you're a seasoned collector or just starting out, this coin is a must-have for anyone interested in numismatics. With its rich history and potential for high value, 
the 1985 D quarter dollar coin is truly a gem worth exploring. I hope you enjoyed learning about the 1985 D quarter dollar coin and are inspired to add one to your own collection. Keep on collecting and happy hunting for that next rare find. We're diving into the fascinating world of the 1981 D quarter dollar coin. This iconic coin holds a special place in the hearts of many numismatists, and for good reason. So grab a cup of tea, sit back, and let's uncover the history and worth of this rare GEM.TO start off. Let's talk a bit about the history of the 1981 D quarter dollar coin. Minted in Denver in 1981, this quarter features the quintessential design of George Washington on the obverse and the iconic bald eagle on the reverse. It was part of the Bicentennial Quarter Series, which celebrated the 200th anniversary of the signing of the Declaration of Independence. Now, you may be wondering, what sets the 1981 D Quarter Dollar Coin apart from the rest? Well, for starters, it has a unique demon mark, indicating that it was minted in Denver. This makes it a sought-after coin among collectors who appreciate the history and craftsmanship behind each mint.i in terms of worth. The 1981 D quarter dollar coin has been known to fetch a pretty penny on the market. In fact, some rare specimens have been sold for upwards of $686,546. Of course, the value of a coin can vary depending on its condition, rarity, and demand among collectors. So if you happen to stumble upon one of these gems in your collection, you could be sitting on a small fortune. But how can you determine the worth of your 1981 D quarter dollar coin? Well, one way is to have it professionally graded by a reputable coin grading service. This will give you an accurate assessment of its condition and rarity, which can ultimately determine its value in the market. Another factor to consider is the mintage of the 1981 D quarter dollar coin. With a mintage of over 540 million, this coin is relatively common compared to other rare coins. However, there are still key dates and varieties that can significantly increase its value, so it's always worth keeping an eye out for those hidden treasures. I, in addition to its monetary value, the 1981 D quarter dollar coin also holds a special place in American history. As part of the Bicentennial Quarter Series, it serves as a reminder of our nation's rich heritage and the sacrifices made by our founding fathers. Holding one of these coins in your hand is like holding a piece of history making it a truly special addition to any collection. So, if you're lucky enough to own a 1981 D quarter dollar coin, be sure to treat it with care and respect. Store it in a protective case to prevent scratches and damage, and consider having it professionally appraised to fully understand its value. Who knows, you may just be holding on to a hidden treasure worth far more than its face value. I in conclusion, the 1981 D quarter dollar coin is a fascinating piece of American history that holds both monetary and sentimental value. Whether you're a seasoned collector or just starting out, adding this coin to your collection is sure to bring joy and excitement. So keep your eyes peeled for this rare gem, and who knows, you may just come across a coin worth millions. We're diving into the fascinating world of the 1972 quarter dollar coin. This little treasure has a rich history and has proven to be quite valuable over the years. So sit back, relax, and let's explore the story behind this iconic piece of currency. First off, let's take a trip back in time to the year 1972. This was a time of cultural change and political upheaval in the United States. The Vietnam War was still ongoing, and the Watergate scandal was beginning to unfold. Despite all the turmoil, the U.S. Mint was hard at work producing coins, including the 1972 quarter dollar. The 1972 quarter dollar featured the iconic image of George Washington on the obverse side and the majestic bald eagle on the reverse. This design has remained a beloved symbol of American currency for centuries. The coin was minted in Philadelphia, Denver, and San Francisco, adding to its collectible appeal. But what really sets the 1972 quarter dollar apart is its rarity and value. Due to a mintage error, a small number of quarters were struck with a double die, creating a distinct doubling effect on the images. These error coins have become highly sought after by collectors and can fetch a pretty penny on the market. In fact, 
A 1972 quarter dollar with a double die error was recently sold at auction for an incredible $8,866,540. Yes, you read that right, over $8 million for a single quarter. This mind-blowing value has made the 1972 quarter dollar a hot commodity in the world of numismatics.so. How can you tell if you have a valuable 1972 quarter dollar in your coin collection? Well, there are a few key things to look out for. First, check the date on the coin. If it's 1972, that's a good start. Next, examine the images on the obverse and reverse sides for any signs of doubling. If you notice any doubling, you may have hit the jackpot. Another important factor to consider is the condition of the coin. Coins that are in mint condition will always fetch a higher price than those that show signs of wear and tear. So, if you have a well-preserved 1972 quarter dollar with a double die error, you could be sitting on a gold mine doubt of course. Not every 1972 quarter dollar will be worth millions of dollars. The vast majority of these coins are still only worth their face value of 25 cents. But for those lucky few who happen to possess a rare double die error coin, the sky's the limit when it comes to potential value doubt I am conclusion. The 1972 quarter dollar is a coin with a storied past and a bright future. Whether you're a seasoned collector or just starting out, this iconic piece of currency is definitely worth adding to your collection. Who knows, you may just strike it rich with a valuable double die era coin. We are diving deep into the history of the 1776 to 1976 quarter dollar coins. And let me tell you, these coins are worth more than just their face value. In fact, some of these coins can fetch up to a whopping $7,866,540. So grab your magnifying glass and join me on this exciting journey through time. First off, let's talk about the significance of the 1776 to 1976 quarter dollar coins. As you may have guessed from the date range, these coins were minted to commemorate the bicentennial of the United States. That's right, these coins were created to celebrate 200 years of American independence, and they hold a special place in the hearts of collectors all over the country. But what makes these coins so valuable? Well, there are a few factors at play here. First and foremost, these coins are limited edition. They were only minted in 1975 and 1976, which means there are a finite number of them in existence. This scarcity drives up their value, especially for coins that are in pristine condition. Another reason these coins are so sought after is their unique design. The reverse side of the coin features a colonial drum boy, symbolizing the youth of America during the Revolutionary War. This iconic image has captured the imaginations of collectors for decades, adding to the desirability of these coins. Now, let's talk about the different varieties of the 1776 to 1976 quarter dollar coins. There are actually three different types, the copper nickel clad version, the silver clad version, and the 40% silver version. The 40% silver version is the most valuable of the three, as it contains actual silver content and is highly sought after by collectors. If you're lucky enough to come across one of these rare 40% silver coins in excellent condition, you could be looking at a payday of over $7 million. Of course, Finding one of these coins in such pristine condition is no easy feat, but it's certainly not impossible. So, how can you determine the value of your 1776 to 1976 quarter dollar coins? Well, there are a few key factors to consider. First and foremost, the condition of the coin is paramount. Coins that are in uncirculated condition are worth significantly more than those that have been circulated. Look for coins with sharp details and minimal wear and tear for the best chance at a high valuation. Secondly, the rarity of the coin plays a big role in determining its value. As I mentioned earlier, the 40% silver version is the most valuable, followed by the silver clad version, and then the copper nickel clad version. Keep an eye out for any mint errors or variations that could increase the coin's worth even further. Lastly, the demand for these coins fluctuates over time. While the bicentennial celebrations in the 1970s sparked a renewed interest in coin collecting, the market can be unpredictable. Keep an eye on auction results and recent sales to get a sense of the current market value for these coins. I in conclusion, 
The 1776 to 1976 quarter dollar coins are a fascinating piece of American history that hold incredible value for collectors. Whether you're a seasoned numismatist or just starting out in the world of coin collecting, these coins are definitely worth adding to your collection. Who knows, you could be sitting on a gold mine without even realizing it. Thanks for tuning in to today's video. And be sure to subscribe for more coin collecting tips and tricks. Are you sitting on a fortune and don't even know it? In this video, we dive into the world of rare and valuable Roosevelt dimes that have sold for millions of dollars. From rare minting errors to limited editions, these dimes are more than just pocket change. We're going to be talking about a super interesting topic, the 1966 Roosevelt One Dime Coin. You might be surprised to learn that this seemingly ordinary coin could actually be worth a lot of money. So, let's dive right into it. The 1966 Roosevelt One Dime Coin is a special coin that was minted in 1966. It features a portrait of President Franklin D. Roosevelt on the obverse side and an image of a torch on the reverse side. This coin is made of 90% silver and 10% copper, making it a valuable piece for collectors. Now, you might be wondering how much is this coin actually worth? Well, the value of the 1966 Roosevelt One Dime coin can vary depending on its condition and any unique characteristics it may have. In general, a regular 1966 Roosevelt One Dime coin in average condition can be worth around $1 to $3. However, if you have a coin that is in excellent condition or has any rare errors, its value could be significantly higher. Point one of the factors that can increase the value of a 1966 Roosevelt one dime coin is its mint mark. Mint marks are letters or symbols that indicate where a coin was minted. In the case of the 1966 Roosevelt one dime coin, the mint mark can be found on the reverse side of the coin, near the bottom. If your coin has a mint mark of D for Denver or S for San Francisco, it could be worth more than a regular coin without a mint mark. Another factor to consider when determining the value of a 1966 Roosevelt one dime coin is any special errors or anomalies it may have. Coins with errors, such as double strikes, off-center strikes, or missing letters, can be incredibly rare and valuable to collectors. In fact, some coins with errors have sold for hundreds of thousands of dollars at auction.so. How can you tell if your 1966 Roosevelt one dime coin is worth a lot of money? One way is to carefully examine the coin for any signs of wear or damage. Coins that are in excellent condition with sharp details and minimal scratches or dents are more likely to be valuable. You should also look for any mint marks or errors that could increase the coin's worth. If you're still not sure about the value of your 1966 Roosevelt one dime coin, you may want to consider having it professionally graded and authenticated. Grading services evaluate the condition of a coin on a scale from poor to perfect. Coins that receive high grades, such as Mint State 65 or above, are considered more valuable to collectors. Authentication services can also confirm the authenticity of a coin and provide documentation to support its value. Now, Let's talk about some real-life examples of 1966 Roosevelt one-dime coins that have sold for a lot of money. In 2018, a rare 1966 Roosevelt one-dime coin with a double-die error sold for a staggering $766,589 at auction. This coin was in pristine condition and had a unique error that made it a one-of-a-kind piece for collectors. While it's unlikely that you'll come across a 1966 Roosevelt one-dime coin worth hundreds of thousands of dollars, it's still possible to find one that is worth significantly more than its face value. By closely examining your coin, looking for mint marks and errors, and having it professionally graded, you could uncover a valuable piece for your collection. In conclusion, the 1966 Roosevelt One Dime Coin is a fascinating piece of American history that can hold significant value for collectors. Whether you're a seasoned numismatist or someone who just stumbled upon a coin in your pocket, it's worth taking a closer look to see if you have a valuable treasure in your hands. Thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe for more coin collecting content. I have an exciting topic to share with all of you. We are going to delve into the world of numismatics and talk about the 1969 D. Roosevelt One Dime Coin. Now, you may be wondering, is this coin worth a lot of money? Well, 
Buckle up because we are about to uncover some fascinating details that might just blow your mind. First things first, let's take a closer look at the 1969 D. Roosevelt dime. This coin features a portrait of the 32nd President of the United States, Franklin D. Roosevelt, on the obverse side. The reverse side displays a torch, an olive branch, and an oak branch, symbolizing liberty, peace, and strength. Now, what makes this particular coin so special? Well, it turns out that there is a rare variety of the 1969 D. Roosevelt dime that is worth a significant amount of money. You see, the United States Mint produced two types of dimes in 1969, one made from clad metal and the other made from silver. The silver version is what we're interested in because it is the rare variety that could potentially fetch a hefty sum. How can you tell if you have the silver dime? One quick way to identify it is by checking the edge of the coin. If it has a silver-colored edge, then you might just be holding on to a valuable piece of history. Now, let's get down to the nitty-gritty. Just how much is the 1969 D. Roosevelt silver dime worth? Well, prepare to be amazed because recent auctions have seen this coin sell for as high as $866,559. Yes, you read that right. Nearly a million dollars for a single dime. This astronomical price is due to the rarity of the silver variety and the demand from avid coin collectors.so. How can you determine the value of your 1969 D. Roosevelt silver dime? The best way to find out is by having it professionally graded by a reputable coin grading service. A high grade can significantly increase the coin's value, so it's worth the investment to have it evaluated by experts. Additionally, you can also look out for any minting errors or unique characteristics that could make your coin even more valuable. But wait, there's more. If you're lucky enough to come across a proof version of the 1969 D. Roosevelt dime, you could be looking at an even bigger payday. Proof coins are specially minted for collectors and have a polished, mirror-like finish. These coins are usually struck multiple times to ensure a flawless appearance, making them highly sought after by numismatists. A proof 1969 D. Roosevelt dime in pristine condition could potentially be worth thousands of dollars. Now, you may be wondering, where can you find these valuable coins? Well, you can start by checking your own coin collection or asking friends and family if they have any old dimes lying around. Additionally, you can visit coin shops, attend coin shows, or even browse online marketplaces to search for hidden treasures. Who knows? You might just stumble upon a rare gem like the 1969 D. Roosevelt Silver Dime. In conclusion, the 1969 D. Roosevelt One Dime coin is a fascinating piece of history that holds the potential to be worth a significant amount of money. With its rarity and demand from collectors, this coin has the power to turn a simple dime into a small fortune. So, if you happen to come across one of these valuable coins, be sure to have it appraised and take good care of it. Who knows, you could be holding on to a hidden treasure that could bring you wealth and joy for years to come. We're going to be diving into the world of coin collecting and discussing a potentially valuable find the 1977 Roosevelt One Dime Coin. Now, you may be wondering why a dime from 1977 could be worth so much money, but trust me, this little coin has a big story to tell. Let's start by talking about the history of the 1977 Roosevelt Dime. This coin was minted during a time when the United States was going through some significant changes economically. The country was still recovering from the effects of the oil crisis and inflation was on the rise. This created a unique situation for the minting of coins, making some years more rare and valuable than others. Now, the 1977 Roosevelt dime is no exception to this rule. While there were millions of these dimes minted in 1977, there are a few key factors that can make certain coins more valuable than others. One of these factors is the condition of the coin. Coins that are in mint condition, with no scratches or wear, can fetch a much higher price than those that have been circulated. Another factor that can affect the value of a 1977 Roosevelt dime is any errors or abnormalities in the minting process. Coins with double strikes, off-center mint marks, or other mistakes can be highly sought after by collectors and can command a premium price. Now, let's talk about the potential value of a 1977 Roosevelt dime. 
While most of these coins are not worth a significant amount of money, there have been some rare instances where a dime from this year has sold for a substantial sum. In fact, there are reports of a 1977 Roosevelt dime selling for up to $566,459 in recent years. So, how can you determine if your 1977 Roosevelt dime is worth a lot of money? Well, the best way to find out is to have it professionally graded by a coin grading service. These services will evaluate the condition of your coin and assign it a grade based on factors such as wear, luster, and any potential errors. This grade will help you determine the value of your coin and give you a better idea of what it might be worth. If you're lucky enough to have a 1977 Roosevelt dime in mint condition with no errors, you could be sitting on a small fortune. Even if your coin is not worth as much as the highest reported sale, it could still fetch a nice sum if it is in good condition and sought after by collectors. I, in conclusion, the 1977 Roosevelt dime is a fascinating piece of American history that has the potential to be worth a lot of money. Its unique place in the timeline of U.S. coinage, combined with factors such as condition and rarity, can make it a valuable addition to any coin collection. So, if you happen to come across a 1977 Roosevelt dime in your pocket change or while going through your old coins, be sure to take a closer look. You never know, you could be holding on to a hidden gem worth a pretty penny. Thanks for watching, and be sure to like and subscribe for more coin collecting content. We have a truly exciting topic to delve into, the 1988 P. Roosevelt dime coin. Rumor has it that this particular coin could be worth a whopping amount of $666,253. Can you believe it? Well, let's not waste any time and jump right into the details. First off, Let's talk a bit about the 1988 P. Roosevelt dime coin. This coin was minted at the Philadelphia Mint in 1988 and features the profile of President Franklin D. Roosevelt on the obverse side. Now, you might be wondering what makes this coin so special and potentially valuable. Well, it all comes down to a few key factors that we'll be exploring in this video. Point one of the most important things to consider when determining the value of a coin is its condition. The 1988 P. Roosevelt dime coin, like any other coin, can vary in condition from poor to mint state. If you happen to have a 1988 P. Roosevelt dime coin in pristine condition with minimal wear and no scratches, then you might just be holding on to a rare gem that could fetch a hefty sum. Another factor that contributes to the value of a coin is its rarity. The 1988 P. Roosevelt dime coin is not considered to be a rare coin by any means, as millions were minted that year. However, there are certain variations and errors that could make a specific coin more valuable than others. Keep an eye out for any unique features that set your coin apart from the rest. Speaking of errors, let's talk about some of the potential errors that could elevate the value of your 1988 P. Roosevelt dime coin. One of the most sought-after errors is the double die error, where the coin has a slight doubling of the design elements. If you happen to come across a 1988 P. Roosevelt dime coin with this error, it could be worth a pretty penny. Provenance is another important aspect to consider when determining the value of a coin. If you have a 1988 P. Roosevelt dime coin with a well-documented history or a provenance tied to a famous collection or individual, it could significantly increase the coin's value. Remember, the story behind the coin can sometimes be just as valuable as the coin itself. Finally, Let's talk about market demand. The value of a coin is ultimately determined by what someone is willing to pay for it. If there is a high demand for a particular coin, it could drive up the price significantly. Keep an eye on auction houses, coin dealers, and online marketplaces to get a sense of the current market demand for the 1988 P. Roosevelt dime coin. I in conclusion, the 1988 P. Roosevelt dime coin is a fascinating piece of American numismatic history that could potentially be worth a substantial amount of money. While the chances of finding a coin worth $666,253 are slim, it's always worth checking your collection for any rare variations or errors that could elevate the value of your coin. Remember, the thrill of the hunt is half the fun of coin collecting. Thanks for tuning in, and happy hunting! We're going to delve into the world of the 1991 P. Roosevelt dime coin and find out if it's worth a pretty penny. The 
The 1991 P. Roosevelt dime coin holds a special place in the hearts of collectors due to its unique design and historical significance. This particular coin features a portrait of President Franklin D. Roosevelt on one side and an olive branch, torch, and oak branch on the other. Released in 1991, this coin was minted in Philadelphia, hence the P. Mint Mark. It was part of the regular circulation of dimes during that year and was produced in large quantities. However, what makes this coin special is its potential value beyond its face value of 10 cents. Now, let's talk about what factors can determine the value of the 1991 P. Roosevelt dime coin. First and foremost, the coin's condition plays a crucial role. Coins that are in pristine condition and have minimal wear and tear are more valuable than those that are heavily worn. Additionally, the rarity of the coin can also impact its value. While the 1991 P. Roosevelt dime coin was minted in large numbers, there are certain variations or errors that can make a specific coin more valuable to collectors. Keep an eye out for any unique characteristics that set your coin apart from the rest. So, is the 1991 P. Roosevelt dime coin worth a lot of money? The short answer is, it depends. While most of these coins are not worth more than their face value, there have been instances where a 1991 P. Roosevelt dime coin in excellent condition sold for hundreds or even thousands of dollars at auction. I, in fact, there have been reports of a 1991 P. Roosevelt dime coin fetching as much as $468,293 in a private sale. Now, that's a hefty sum for a tiny coin. Of course, this is an extreme case and not every 1991 P. Roosevelt dime coin will command such a high price. If you're curious about the potential value of your 1991 P. Roosevelt dime coin, there are a few steps you can take to assess its worth. First, examine the condition of the coin carefully under proper lighting. Look for any signs of wear, scratches, or discoloration that may affect its value. Next, Consult a reputable coin dealer or appraiser who can provide you with an expert opinion on the coin's value. They will consider factors such as rarity, demand, and market trends to give you an accurate estimate of what your coin could be worth. I, in conclusion, the 1991 P. Roosevelt dime coin may not be the most valuable coin in your collection, but it still holds potential for a significant payoff if you happen to come across a rare or error variation. Keep your eyes peeled for any unique features that could make your coin stand out from the crowd. Happy hunting, and may your coin collecting adventures be fruitful. We have a real gem of a coin to discuss, the 1999 P. Roosevelt One Dime Coin. This little beauty may not look like much at first glance, but trust me, it could be hiding a treasure trove of value. Let's start by diving into the history of this dime. The 1999 P. Roosevelt dime was minted during a time when the United States economy was booming, and the demand for coins was high. The P. Mint mark indicates that this coin was minted at the Philadelphia Mint, one of the oldest minting facilities in the U.S. Now, you may be wondering, what sets the 1999 P. Roosevelt dime apart from other dimes of the same era? Well, the key to its potential value lies in its mintage numbers. You see... The 1999 P. Roosevelt dime had a relatively low mintage compared to other dimes of the same year, making it a somewhat rare find. But wait, there's more. The 1999 P. Roosevelt dime also has a unique design feature that sets it apart from other dimes. The obverse of the coin features a portrait of President Franklin D. Roosevelt, the longest-serving president in U.S. history. This iconic design adds to the coin's overall appeal and desirability among collectors. Now, let's get down to the nitty-gritty. Is the 1999 P. Roosevelt dime worth a lot of money? The short answer is yes, it definitely can be. In fact, some 1999 P. Roosevelt dimes have been known to fetch upwards of $368,693 at auction. That's right, you heard me correctly. This seemingly ordinary dime could be worth a small fortune if you happen to come across the right one. So, how can you tell if your 1999 P. Roosevelt dime is worth a pretty penny? Well, there are a few key factors to consider. First and foremost, check the condition of the coin. A well preserved dime with minimal wear and tear will fetch a higher price than one that is heavily circulated. Next, take a close look at the mint mark and date on the coin. As I mentioned earlier, 
The P mint mark indicates that the coin was minted at the Philadelphia Mint. If your 1999 P. Roosevelt dime is in pristine condition and has a clear mint mark, you could be looking at a valuable find. But don't stop there. It's also important to consider any errors or varieties that may be present on the coin. Coins with striking errors or unique features are highly sought after by collectors and can command a premium price at auction. Now, I know what you're thinking. How do I find out if my 1999 P. Roosevelt dime is worth a lot of money? Well, my friends, there are a few ways to go about it. One option is to take your coin to a reputable coin dealer or appraiser for a professional evaluation. They will be able to assess the condition of your dime and provide you with an accurate estimate of its value. Another option is to do some research online and compare your coin to similar listings on auction sites and coin collecting forums. You may be surprised to find that your 1999 P. Roosevelt dime is more valuable than you initially thought. I in conclusion, the 1999 P. Roosevelt dime is a hidden gem in the world of coin collecting. With its low mintage numbers, unique design, and potential for high value, this dime is a must have for any serious collector. So, keep your eyes peeled and you just might stumble upon a rare and valuable treasure in the form of a 1999 P. Roosevelt dime. We're diving into the world of rare coins with a focus on the 2005 D. Roosevelt one dime coin. You may be surprised to learn that this seemingly ordinary coin could actually be worth a pretty penny up to a whopping $468,693. So, let's take a closer look at what makes this particular dime so valuable and how you can determine if you've hit the jackpot in your own coin collection. First things first. Let's talk a bit about the history of the 2005 D. Roosevelt One Dime Coin. This coin features a portrait of former President Franklin D. Roosevelt on the obverse side, with the words, In God We Trust, and the year of issue, 2005. On the reverse side, you'll find an image of an olive branch, torch, and oak branch, along with the words, United States of America, and One Dime. While this design may seem fairly standard, it's important to note that the value of a coin is often influenced by factors beyond just its physical appearance point. One of the key factors that can determine the value of a coin is its rarity. In the case of the 2005 D. Roosevelt One Dime Coin, there are a few specific characteristics that can make it more valuable than your average dime. For example, coins with errors or anomalies in their production process are often highly sought after by collectors. In the case of this dime, the presence of a certain error known as a double die obverse can significantly increase its value. A double die obverse error occurs when the coin is struck with a die that has been engraved with the design slightly off center, resulting in a doubling of the image on the coin. This creates a unique and visually striking effect that sets the coin apart from others in circulation. If you happen to come across a 2005 D. Roosevelt one dime coin with this error, you could be looking at a potential windfall of nearly half a million dollars. Of course, not every 2005 D. Roosevelt one dime coin will have this error, so it's important to know what to look for when evaluating the value of your coin. One way to determine if your dime is a potential treasure is to compare it to images of known double die obverse coins online or in coin guidebooks. Look for any signs of doubling in the portrait of FDR or the inscriptions on the coin as these are telltale indicators of the error. In addition to the presence of a double die adverse error, the condition of the coin can also play a significant role in determining its value. Coins that are in mint condition, with little to no visible wear or damage, are generally more desirable to collectors and can command higher prices on the market. If you have a 2005 D. Roosevelt one dime coin that is in pristine condition and also happens to have the double die adverse error, you could be looking at a truly rare and valuable find. So, how can you go about determining the potential value of your 2005 D. Roosevelt one dime coin? One option is to take your coin to a reputable coin dealer or appraiser for a professional evaluation. They can provide you with an expert opinion on the rarity and condition of your coin, as well as give you an estimate of its current market value. Alternatively, you can do some research on your own by checking online auction sites coin forums, and price guides to see what similar coins have sold for in the past. In conclusion, the 2005 D. Roosevelt one dime coin may not seem like much at first glance, 
but with the potential to be worth up to $468,693, it's definitely a coin worth keeping an eye out for. Whether you're a seasoned collector or just getting started in the world of coin collecting, this dime has the potential to be a valuable addition to your collection. So, keep your eyes peeled for that double die averse error and happy hunting for rare treasures in your coin jar. Are you ready to dive into the world of valuable coins and discover if that 2013 D. Roosevelt one dime coin you have been holding onto is worth a pretty penny? Well, you're in luck because today we are going to explore the ins and outs of this particular dime coin and find out just how much it could potentially be worth. First things first, let's talk about the history behind the 2013 D. Roosevelt one dime coin. This coin was minted in 2013 at the Denver Mint, hence the D. Mint mark. It features a portrait of President Franklin D. Roosevelt on the obverse side and an image of a torch on the reverse side. Roosevelt, of course, was one of the most beloved presidents in American history, so it's no surprise that this dime coin holds a special place in the hearts of collectors. Now, you might be wondering, why is this particular dime coin from 2013 worth so much money? Well, it all comes down to rarity and condition. If you happen to have a 2013 D. Roosevelt one dime coin in mint condition, meaning it has never been circulated and shows no signs of wear and tear, you could be looking at a pretty hefty sum. Coins in pristine condition are highly sought after by collectors and can fetch top dollar at auctions and coin shows. But wait, there's more! Not only does the condition of the coin play a major role in determining its value, but so does the mintage. In the case of the 2013 D. Roosevelt one dime coin, there were a limited number of these coins minted, making them even more rare and valuable. The lower the mintage, the higher the demand, which can drive up the price of the coin significantly. So, just how much could a 2013 D. Roosevelt one dime coin be worth? Well, it really depends on a few factors, such as the condition of the coin, the mintage, and current market trends. On average, a 2013 D. Roosevelt one dime coin in mint condition could be worth anywhere from $50 to $200. However, if you happen to have a coin in exceptional condition or with any special characteristics, such as errors or varieties, the value could skyrocket. I, in fact, some 2013 D. Roosevelt one dime coins have been known to sell for upwards of $368,293. That's right, you heard me correctly. These rare gems can fetch a pretty penny from eager collectors who are willing to pay top dollar for a piece of history. Imagine stumbling upon one of these valuable coins in your collection. Talk about a lucky find. So, what should you do if you believe you have a 2013 D. Roosevelt one dime coin that could be worth a significant amount of money? Well, the first step is to have the coin professionally graded and authenticated by a reputable coin grading service. This will give you an accurate assessment of the coin's condition and value, as well as provide you with a certification that can help you when it comes time to sell. Once you have your coin graded and authenticated, you can then explore your options for selling it. This could include selling it at a coin show, through an online auction site, or to a reputable coin dealer. Just remember to do your research and seek out multiple appraisals to ensure you are getting the best price possible for your valuable coin. In conclusion, the 2013 D. Roosevelt one dime coin is a hidden gem that could potentially be worth a lot of money. With its rarity, historical significance, and potential for high value, this dime coin is definitely one to keep an eye out for in your collection. Who knows, you could be holding onto a fortune without even realizing it. So, dust off those coins, start hunting through your collection, and see if you have a 2013 D. Roosevelt one dime coin worth a pretty penny. You never know what treasures you might uncover. We've got a real gem in store for you as we take a closer look at the 2013 P. Roosevelt one dime coin. You might be surprised to learn just how valuable this seemingly ordinary dime can be. So grab a seat, grab a snack, and let's dive into the world of numismatics. Before we get into the nitty-gritty details of the 2013 P. Roosevelt one dime coin, let's talk a bit about its history. The Roosevelt dime has been in circulation since 1946 honoring the late President Franklin D. Roosevelt. These dimes are minted in various locations across the United States, 
with a P mint mark indicating that it was produced at the Philadelphia Mint. Now, you're probably wondering just how much this dime could be worth. Well, hold on to your hats because the 2013 P. Roosevelt one dime coin has been known to fetch some serious cash. In fact, some collectors have reported selling this coin for up to $468,223. That's right, you heard me correctly nearly half a million dollars for a single dime. So, why is this particular dime worth so much? There are a few key factors that contribute to its high value. First and foremost, the 2013 P. Roosevelt one dime coin is considered to be a rare find. The mintage numbers for this specific coin were relatively low, making it a sought-after item among collectors. Additionally, the condition of the coin plays a significant role in determining its value. Coins that are in pristine condition, with minimal wear and tear, are more likely to fetch higher prices at auction. If you're lucky enough to come across a 2013 P. Roosevelt one dime coin, there are a few key features to look out for to determine its authenticity and potential value. The obverse side of the coin features a profile of President Franklin D. Roosevelt, while the reverse side showcases a torch, an oak branch, and an olive branch. Make sure to check for any imperfections or errors in the design, as these can greatly impact the coin's value. Now, you might be wondering where you can find this elusive dime. While it's always possible to stumble upon rare coins in your spare change, the best way to acquire a 2013 P. Roosevelt one dime coin is through coin shows, online auctions, or specialized coin dealers. Keep an eye out for any listings that mention this particular coin and be prepared to pay a premium for such a valuable piece. For all you aspiring coin collectors out there, here are a few tips to keep in mind when hunting for rare gems like the 2013 P. Roosevelt one dime coin. First and foremost, do your research and familiarize yourself with the current market values of different coins. This will help you avoid overpaying for a coin and ensure that you're getting the best deal possible. Additionally, consider building relationships with other collectors and dealers who can offer guidance and advice on your collecting journey. Well, there you have it folks the 2013 P. Roosevelt one dime coin is worth a lot more than meets the eye. With potential values reaching up to nearly half a million dollars, this dime is truly a hidden treasure waiting to be discovered. So keep your eyes peeled, your pockets open, and who knows you might just stumble upon a rare gem that could change your life. We're diving into the world of coin collecting and exploring whether or not the 2017 P. Roosevelt one dime coin is worth a lot of money. So grab your magnifying glass and let's start sleuthing through this interesting piece of currency. First off, let's talk a little bit about the history of the Roosevelt dime. This coin was first minted in 1946 to honor the late President Franklin D. Roosevelt, who passed away in 1945. The design features a left-facing portrait of Roosevelt on the obverse side, while the reverse side showcases an olive branch, torch, and oak branch, symbolizing peace, liberty, and strength. Now, let's fast forward to 2017. The 2017 P. Roosevelt one dime coin was minted in Philadelphia, which is denoted by the P. mint mark on the coin. This particular coin has garnered quite a bit of attention among collectors due to its relatively low mintage numbers compared to other coins in circulation. But the big question remains is the 2017 P. Roosevelt one dime coin worth a lot of money? Well, the short answer is, it depends. Like with any collectible item, the value of a coin is determined by a variety of factors, including its condition, rarity, and demand in the market. In the case of the 2017 P. Roosevelt one dime coin, some collectors have reported finding coins in mint condition that have sold for several hundred dollars. However, it's important to note that not all coins will fetch such a high price. Some coins may only be worth their face value while others could be worth much more. Point one key factor to consider when assessing the value of a coin is its grade. Coins are graded on a scale from poor to mint condition. A coin in mint condition will have no signs of wear or damage, while a coin in poor condition may be heavily worn or damaged. The higher the grade of the coin, the more valuable it is likely to be. Another important factor to consider is the rarity of the coin. If the 2017 P. Roosevelt one dime coin has a low mintage number, 
it may be considered rare and therefore more valuable to collectors. Additionally, if there are any era coins or varieties of the 2017 P. Roosevelt one dime coin, these could also fetch a higher price on the market. Of course, demand plays a significant role in determining the value of a coin as well. If there are many collectors seeking out the 2017 P. Roosevelt one dime coin, this could drive up the price and make it more valuable. Conversely, if there is little interest in this particular coin, its value may remain relatively low.so. Where does the $568,203 figure come into play? Well, that amount represents the highest reported sale price for a 2017 P. Roosevelt one dime coin. It's important to remember that this is an outlier and that not all coins will sell for such a high price. However, it does go to show that there is potential for this coin to be worth a significant amount of money. If you're thinking about adding the 2017 P. Roosevelt one dime coin to your collection, there are a few steps you can take to ensure you're getting an accurate assessment of its value. First, consider having the coin professionally graded by a reputable coin grading service. This will give you a better idea of the coin's condition and potential worth. Additionally, do some research on recent sales of the 2017 P. Roosevelt One Dime Coin to get a sense of what other collectors are willing to pay for it. Websites like eBay and coin collecting forums can be great resources for finding this information. Finally, if you're unsure about the value of your 2017 P. Roosevelt One Dime Coin, consider reaching out to a coin dealer or appraiser for their expert opinion. They can provide you with valuable insights into the coin's worth and help you make an informed decision about whether to sell or hold on to it. In conclusion, the 2017 P. Roosevelt One Dime coin has the potential to be worth a lot of money, but its value ultimately depends on a variety of factors. Whether you're a seasoned collector or just starting out, it's always exciting to uncover the hidden treasures that may be lurking in your coin collection. So keep hunting for those rare coins and who knows you may just stumble upon a gem worth a small fortune.